time now to pause for a cause. Every Friday, we highlight local nonprofits in our community. Yeah, and joining us right now is Hannah McDougall. She is the Director of Communications at Pelican Harbor. And I know Pelican Harbor has been there on the 79th Street Causeway for a long time. Hannah, and I know you do good work, so remind us of the work you do with uh, injured animals, injured wildlife in general. Yes, thank you. Uh, so yes, we have in fact been here uh, on 79th Street Causeway for 42 years. We are a full service wildlife rehabilitation center. So at the core of it, a wildlife hospital. We admit um, all native injured, uh, sick or orphaned wildlife with the goal of rehabilitating them and releasing them back to their natural environment. That is awesome. Now, how can people volunteer, specifically me, because I, I want to I wanna take part in that as well. <laughs> yes, yeah, so we are always, always looking for volunteers. Um, we have a bunch of different volunteer opportunities, whether that's working outdoors um, in our wildlife sanctuary, which involves uh, kind of more of the grunt work of cleaning the cages, um, making the diets, but it's super rewarding because you get to be surrounded by all of these amazing animals. Um, and we also offer opportunities more part-time volunteer uh, we have a volunteer group called operation rescue uh, which is a trained group of volunteers that actually helps us to go out contain and transport these injured animals to our uh, facility and hannah tell us about the animals the different animals that are taken there i where to start uh, so we've uh, in our history we've treated over 200 different species each year we treat around 150 um, so these range from pelicans, like our name suggests, to owls. We also do mammals, uh, squirrels and opossums. We do raptors, we do songbirds, we do warblers. We're full service, so we do everything. Um, and it's amazing the amount of diversity we're able to see being in South Florida, being kind of on this migration path um, and being to help, being able to help uh, all these animals that are injured on their migration path. Well, helping those animals definitely cost. How can people donate to uh, help to that? Yes, absolutely. Uh, so there's so many different ways you can help, um, not all of them being monetary, uh, but of course, at the end of the day, food and medicine and care does cost money. Um, so people can easily donate on our website, pelicanharbor.org slash donate. Uh, we also have an Amazon wish list that has things from uh, running wheels for our baby squirrels to formula to bird seed um, lots of different things there if you want to have uh, a direct impact knowing exactly where your donation is going um, and beyond that our social media accounts just spreading the word so much of what we do relies on community education to help prevent these uh, injuries at the source so just really making yourself aware of these problems um, and educating yourself and your community can really make such a difference. Yeah, a lot of animal lovers out there, so it would be great to see more people getting involved in your organization. Thank you very much, Hannah McDougall, for joining us. And if you want more information on how to help the mission at Pelican Harbor, just check out our website, cbsmiami.com. Thank you for joining us, Hannah. And again, it's Pelican Harbor on the 79th Street Causeway in Miami. Thank you. Thanks so much.